man, I think I'm I'm gonna have to watch that Little Witch Academia movie. Oh, I watched uh, the uh, I watched the series, and then there was like another like maybe an OVA that they had where like uh, they're all heading in the dungeon or whatever. It's like a forty minute thing, I think. It's not the movie, but it's like it's like I don't know, maybe it's the length of a show or whatever. I'm not sure. I think it was an OVA. Where they like head down into the dungeon and then fucking they come across a dragon. And then that starts some troubles. I like that they have animated cutscenes for this. And I mean good animated cutscenes. I don't mean the type of animated cutscenes that you had from like the Legend of Korra game. Because he fucking Nickelodeon gives less of a budget than what Namco Bandai does. But at least they chose Platinum to make the game, so it's somewhat fun, I guess. Like, I'm really happy I have a smile on my face because I just feel like I'm watching a, a fucking... I'm literally watching just like the TV show. <laughs> it's good, and I love it. <laughs> it's good animation. I love it. And let me just say, good animation doesn't mean you have to be high quality. It doesn't mean everything has to be shiny and sparkling like No Game No Life, right? Or things have to be as crazy as... Uh, Jojo Part 3 or whatever, right? Even though Part 3 is probably like my least favorite Jojo. And my most favorite is... Is Part 4. <laughs> Lucy! I was about to call her Lucy, my bad. Susie didn't give a fuck. I love it. She's like, I don't give no fucks. She's like, I'm not even gonna try. Alright. So, this game's a beat-em-up. It's alright. It's not that crazy. But, there are some... I haven't gotten that far in the game, so I'm not sure if you really... If you unlock any type of, like... Any, like, new moves or anything like that. Probably unlock, like, new spells and stuff. But... But, I mean, like, uh... Most of your moves basically stay the same. You have this, which isn't really that good. You have your heavy attack, which isn't that good. You have your circle attack, which is you're probably going to utilize it a lot. You have your jump circle, which is the best. So basically, you just mix your air dash with your jump circle. Alright, jump circle, jump heavy, whatever, air heavy, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, strong attack, my bad. Jump, strong attack, whatever. And then, if you hold the running button, press light, you do slide. Uh, heavy does nothing. And strong does nothing. So basically, uh, what's my evade button again? Oh, there it is. You hold uh, L1, which then you can use your magic and stuff, like your fireball. You have like a spear or whatever, a cure spell. Uh, I'll get used to it. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played it, but off camera, I'll probably do some, uh, some uh, minor leveling up, right? I just skipped all this. I'll figure it out later. Some minor leveling up. And, uh... I thought Susie died just now. I really did. I thought she just bit the dust. And another one bites the dust. And another one's down. And another one's down. Yeah, but each character that you have in this game, you'll get more characters a little bit later. You, pro you don't get that many characters. You basically get all the characters you think you'll get. Right? But, um... But what, what am I saying? But yeah, uh, each character has like their own type of stats. And even if you try to level up their stats to match like another characters, you can't do that at all. Because they're just, it's just the way the characters are. Oops, I'm facing the wrong way. Bam. But when it comes to fighting, you're probably going to see me do the same thing. Because it's just, it's overpowered. <laughs> Literally, it's overpowered. 
And because I'm playing as Akko, I'm going to leave the magic casting to the actual magic users. Because look at their magic compared to mine. Right? My magic sucks. I have 21 total magic. And right out the get-go, fucking Susie and Lanti have like 200 plus. So, whatever. Because I suck at magic. Alright, cool. Boss appears at the end of each level, defeated to return to the Holologium Chamber. Alright, so we got this Minotaur dude. Ow! He's almost dead anyways. Bam. There you go. One thing I hate about beat em ups is that when you hit them off the fucking screen, you really can't, really can't do much. Uh, isn't you supposed to leave like a chest behind for me to pick up? Are you like, Susie, are you like disappearing? What the fuck? How do you do that, girl? Oh, there we go. I just picked up something. Quest complete. Level up. From one to two, we got some equipment. Spell stones, which we're going to use to like buy shit. So you see that shit? I use magic, girl. <laughs> Susie's like, I'm not sure about that. I'm not fucking sure about that, man. Looks like we were using magic. You're so evil, Susie. You fucking, you suck. <laughs> you suck, and I love you. Man, speaking of Susie, fucking uh, Lab Zero and their goddamn indivisible shit that they're doing. I forgot what's the name of their. Uh, I believe she's a pyromancer. Like basically, she basically she's like an older looking Susie who just is the the same attitude of I don't fucking care and I hate all of you, <laughs> right? And she has like what a uh, tiger um, like she has like a tiger skin over her and stuff like that. And fucking, she just. <laughs> I, I remember playing the demo, and I think one of her quotes in the demo or something like that, she's like, guys, why don't you. Maybe we should just give up. <laughs> I think when you use her in your, in your fight, she literally just. And she's the healer, I believe. And she's just like, maybe we should just. Maybe we should just fucking give up. <laughs> you ever. Hey guys, you ever thought about just, like, not caring? Like, you're doing all these hard fights, fighting monsters and shit, and she's like, I'm just, I'm fucking, man, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> We're gonna get to another fight, and I gotta fucking heal you guys all the goddamn time. <laughs> Arthur's so cute. Annabelle, too, for that matter. Arthur, who's Arthur again? I'm trying to remember. It, are those like those might be the characters in uh and um Lottie's uh like book series that she likes either that or Annabelle is the author that they met and Arthur is Andrew's friend I don't think that's Andrew's friend though because I remember one episode Arthur did like it was kind of like a thing they passed by they're like oh he did kind of ask me if we wanted to go out but I turned him down and they're like, Mati, you turned a rich dude down? What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, so it's the next day. What's up? Uh, I still have work left in the library. Go ahead and I'll come help later. Cool. Okay, thanks, Lati. That's cool. What about you, Susie? How you feeling? What's the matter, Susie? This is strange. Oh, what's strange? Okay, cool. Don't head my ass to the fucking library and finish up what we gotta do. What do you mean while I'm doing up so early? I gotta go to the library. What you talking about? Put it on auto again. Because that's how I do. That's what I do. Man, what, what else about anime do I want to fucking talk about? And by the end of this goddamn playthrough, I'm probably going to run out of fucking animes to talk about. Oh yeah, fucking, uh, recently, I just started, like, watching the original Pokemon again, like the Indigo League. And, 
the first couple episodes of Pokemon is really fucking weird because for some reason everybody is just such a fucking asshole. Like, you watch that shit and everyone's such an asshole to Ash. Like, Pikachu's an asshole, Professor Oak's an asshole, Gary's an asshole. Fucking, he heads to, uh, well, fucking, he's all like, my Pikachu's hurt, Misty. And then fucking, and then Misty's like, oh man, it sucks for that Pikachu. And then fucking, he goes like, I need your bike. We're being chased by Sparrows, as you can see. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. Where are you going? You're stealing my shit. He's like, whatever, I'll bring you back. Which he'll probably never do that. I don't even think if he ever did that ever. All I, all I remember about that shit was like, at the end of the Johto League, Ash is heading home and they all go their separate ways. And he says bye to Misty and Brock. I remember that, but then I... I remember uh, him headed home. He hears about the Hoenn League. He heads there and he meets up with Brock again, right? But not Misty. Um... But damn, fucking, <laughs> he heads to uh, Vermilion City. I think that's the first city you get to. Uh, well, I think that's the first city he gets to. He heads to Vermilion. Uh, was it Vermilion? I'm trying to think, was it Vermilion? It wasn't, like, it wasn't Pewter City. Pewter City is like the second city he goes to after he goes through the uh, forest or whatever. Um... Uh, Professor Ursula, don't tell me your bucket has a hole in it again. God damn it. Um, I'm trying to think. What? No, I can't be from Vermilion is where Surge is at, right? Viridian. Viridian City is the first city that he makes it to. Not Vermilion. It's Viridian. And then after that, he heads through the Viridian Forest, right? I believe. Um, but yeah, fucking. He gets there, and Nurse, uh,. I'm not nurse. Fucking, um, Officer Jenny's all like, man, looking for Pokemon thieves. Hey, you, you look like you're not here. As she clearly has the wanted poster of the two thieves right there, which is, you know, Jesse and Jesse and James. And fucking, um, let me just do this melded magic bullshit. Uh, yeah, she has the poster right in front of her because she literally just put it up. And she's like, we're looking for Pokemon thieves. Fucking, are you a thief? Did you steal that Pikachu? And he's like, no, my Pikachu's hurt. And she's like, I don't believe you as he's carrying a hurt Pikachu in his hands. And she's like, show me some ID. Uh, you'll learn the rope soon enough. Cool. All right. I got to head to the library. Cool. Oops. Didn't mean to press that. Uh, head to the library now. Yeah. And she's just like, show me your ID. He's like, well, I ain't got no ID. And then he finds out that his Pokedex is his fucking ID and stuff like that. And she's like, oh, that's cool. Now I believe you. And then she's like, okay, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get to the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, Pokemon Center. As she just, as she continues to pollute the goddamn air with, with the amount of smoke that comes out of her goddamn motorcycle. It's ridiculous. Like, if you saw that shit nowadays, you'd be like, holy shit, you were just killing the environment. Like, I'm not a fucking, I'm not a tree hugger or anything like that, but goddamn, lady, that was a lot of smoke. And then she fucking, she, like, brushes through the fucking hospital doors, the Poké Center doors with the fucking motorcycle and ash in the, like, in the cart, passenger cart or whatever. And then she's like, it's a Poké emergency. And then fucking... <laughs> First thing Nurse Joy says is, listen, we have a goddamn, she just literally cold, like dead, like dead eyes, just look at her and goes like, we have a fucking parking lot, asshole. And she's like, she's like, shut up, bitch. This fucking Pikachu needs the help ASAP. And she's like, oh my God, Pikachu, we got to get it to the emergency room right now. And going, and then she fucking takes Pikachu to the emergency room. And then she comes out, she's all like, uh, well, Chansey, her Chansey takes, uh, Pikachu to the emergency, emergency room, and then she, uh, fucking Ash, I'm stuttering like a motherfucker right now, Ash asks her, he's all like, I'm really worried about Pikachu, uh, is there anything I can do? And she's all like, first of all, you can take good care of your Pokemon, how the fuck would you let it fight to get this way? And he's like, you don't know what happened, we were being attacked, and then instead of being like, oh, I'm sorry, she just goes like, I don't care, anyways, yeah, fuck you. And then she's like, the rest you can do now is just go sit down. <laughs> Basically, she just tells him to fuck off. 
And then she goes take care of the Pikachu, and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Literally, he's like, oh, my Pikachu, and then, and then she's like, you should take better care of it. How dare you do this, bro? My, he's all like, we were attacked. He doesn't say we were attacked, but he's all like, you don't know what happened. It's not my fault. And she's like, <laughs> she doesn't say I don't care, but she literally just goes like, that doesn't matter now, right? <laughs> she just completely blows him off, right? It just sucks. It sucks. Man, <laughs> everyone is just such a fucking asshole in the beginning of that show. And then later on, people are still assholes. Like, it doesn't stop. Like how that fucking bug trainer samurai guy, dude, just fucking, <laughs> he's like, he's like, I want to fight you, Ash, because I got my ass kicked before and I need to fight trainers from Pallet. And then fucking the Beedrill show up and he's like, peace, bitches. And then fuck. <laughs> and then they take Ash's Metapod and then they're sitting there. They see the Metapod with the cocoon in the trees or whatever, because the Beedrill stole its Metapod. And then Ash is like, maybe I can get Metapod right now. Right, and then they make a noise, and the Beedrill come after them, and fucking, when they're hiding in the shack, he's all like, only a fool would leave his Pokemon behind, and then Ash is like, it's not my fault, what are you talking about, fucking, we're gonna die, <laughs> and then he's all like, he's like, whatever, I wouldn't even call you a novice, cause only a novice, he's like, only someone stupider than a novice would leave his Pokemon behind, and it's just like, it's like asshole, literally, it's not Ash, like, I hate Ash, don't get me wrong, he sucks as a Pokemon trainer, but, motherfucker, it's like, holy shit, he didn't fucking, it's not his fault, and at the end of the episode, he's like, no, I'm making excuses, it was my fault, no, it literally wasn't your fault, Ash, it really wasn't, there was nothing you can do in that situation, <laughs> like, you're gonna fucking, you wanna get stabbed by a goddamn Drill motherfucker has goddamn drill like these big ass fucking pointy ass drill ass hands for fucking <laughs> just come on man like it was some straight up zombie movie shit like when they get to the god like it was the shining type shit they get to the fucking to the uh shack or whatever the beedrill just fucking stabs a hole through the goddamn shack and he's looking through it and there's like a million beedrill out there and fucking Team Rocket shows up, doing their whole motto, and Ash is like, you're gonna wake up the fucking Beedrills, dude. I didn't even talk to fucking Susie and, uh, Monty. What are you guys up to? What's up? We leaned on almost everything yesterday. Let's we'll see if we can finish up the whole job today. Yeah. What about you, Susie? That settles it. This is weird. Hey, Susie. She's like, don't talk to me, Akko. I'm busy. I'm doing important things. You're not. Man, the only reason I haven't, like, stopped recording yet is because I'm waiting for a save point, and we don't have access to a save point yet. Oh man, but, yeah, everyone in Pokemon is a goddamn asshole for no reason. It just sucks. It really does. And then, like, I know a lot of people like to talk about how Ash just never earns any of his goddamn Pokemon badges. Just... I, I really don't want to fucking talk about it. It's so lame. <laughs> fucking literally, literally, even the second time Ash fights Brock, Pikachu still faints. He gets the swirly eyes, and the fight's already over by then. But then Onyx gets sprayed by water, and then Pikachu's like, "Well, never mind. Fuck this." And Ash is like, "Fuck this. Kill that. Kill that goddamn rock snake." Right? Man. Fucking Pokemon. The original Pokemon is crazy, and I can't wait to just watch more of it. Like, I'm just, I just, I'm gonna keep watching it. <laughs> you can't stop me. You can't stop me from watching it. Man, I can't wait for, like, because I just, fucking, I started watching it over again because I just wanted to see, I wanted to relive the Pokemon experience, but just every episode is so fucking ridiculous and hilarious just, just to be like, are you kidding me? That's what happens? Man, and then you get to the episode where the dude's like, I beat the shit out of my Sandrew and he loves it. And then Sandrew's all like, yeah, get swole every day. <laughs> He's like, whip me harder. I'm wearing this fucking like BDSM fucking like strip thing on me. It's weird. 
That's so, the books are back. Huh. Guess who's back? Back again. Books are back. Tell your friends. And clean it up, cause the library sucks. <laughs> Libraries are actually pretty cool. I like them. I like them because I'm a fucking hipster. Oh, alright. This shit's weird. I hate it. People keep putting the fucking books up and shit. Taking the books off the goddamn shelves. It sucks. Man. Don't get me fucking started about Devil Man Cry Baby. <laughs> oh. Oh, days. Day Devil Man Cry Baby is the anime made by Netflix. That quote unquote anime made by Netflix. That was just like. Actually, I think Devil Man Cry Baby was just like literally just someone going like. Someone got fucking high and just went like, I can make a fucking anime. I can do that shit too. And then they fucking made Devil Man Cry Baby. And then after that, they're like, you know what would be cool? If we show you everything you love and then immediately shit on it and make you regret that life was ever a thing. <laughs> That's what Devil Man Cry Baby is. It's like, you're happy? No, you don't get it. You don't get it. Nobody gets happiness. Fuck you. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the one happy mo the happy moments that happen in Devil Man Cry Baby is completely taken away by someone going like, Oh, you would have thought. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. So I think we gotta head back down here to the Hallelogium Chamber. Devil man, fucking cry, baby. Ah, uh, man. I'm I'm trying my best to avoid talking about My Hero Academia because I can easily slip into spoilers because I'm way I'm so far ahead in the manga. It's just fucking crazy. Anyways, oh man, uh, how do I? Oh, I don't even think I can save here yet. Damn it, I gotta like... Oh wait, no, she's gonna help me unlock this. Yeah. Cool, let me get that off of. And there's a crystal ball. Like the thing you're always glued to? That lets me browse the internet and send messages via magic, but it's something much older. It's like the crystal ball that witches use for fortune telling might actually have a spirit inside of it. Cool. Could you communicate to it? Should be able to do it yourself if you use this. Alright, telepathy. A potion. I got it as a sample. I don't need it. I don't need it because I already talk with fairies like a motherfucker. Oh, look at you. Look at Lottie. Talks to fairies. Fucking Lottie da. Damn it. Come on, magical ball. There you go. Alright, cool. Now, we can save our game. And then when we find more crystal balls, we fucking. We can, uh. We can uh, fast travel to them, which is going to be awesome. Man, I, I'm not going to get into any more anime talk right now because I really do want to end this recording session. I've been recording for like an hour now and just an hour of straight anime talk and I can still go on if I want to. Literally, this whole entire series is nothing but an excuse for me to talk about anime and I just love it. I love it so much. But I don't like how Miss Kobayashi won the goddamn award over Little Witch. God damn it. Little Witch is so good. People just don't know. They don't know, man. They don't know. It's like... It's like, uh... Well, it's like the Game Awards where, um... Was near. Mm, I'm trying to think. Near Automata was voted for something... I think best storytelling, right? Like narrative in an RPG, and it didn't win. Something else won, and it's like, oh, they just don't know. <laughs> they just don't know what Near Automata is. They just didn't get that far. Oh uh, yeah. So, anyways, here's like a save. Man, the last time I played this was fucking like was uh fucking uh, July. Duh. For some for some reason, I skipped out. Yeah. But, I remember, the you know, last time I played this was in July, because that's when I was going to start recording it, but then I lost all my recordings and stuff for, like, everything that I did in the summer, so I just fucking gave up. Uh, but yeah, I recorded it, and I fucking, uh, I did some leveling up, so, whenever we catch up to that part, I'll just switch over to that save file, because I'm, like, level 20 in that save file, 
and that doesn't mess with any of the story or anything like that there's like an area you can go to the train up but anyways uh <laughs> I know I've, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, probably like in two 30 minute parts or something, but, um, man, I just talked about anime, like, forever, and literally that's all this playthrough is, it's just anime and fun and me fucking geeking out, In the comics below, comics? Wow. In the comments below, please tell me what animes you guys watch, what are you into, what mangas you read or whatever, and tell me what you think about them, you know, get me some fucking recommendations. And I mean recommendations. I don't mean like, hey man, have you heard of Boruto? It's like, nah man, I I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with Naruto. I stuck it out to the end. It's over. I don't care about his son. I don't give a fuck. One Piece, I'm out. Fairy Tale, I'm out. Everything is solved by friendship, even though the fight scenes are cool and the music's great, but I'm out. I mean, like, give me, give me some like real shit, like, some, like some real anime. I don't mean to say it like that, but be like, uh, I don't know, be like, be like, hey man, did you see that death parade? It's cool, right? Or like, don't, don't give me like in in another world with my smartphone type shit. <laughs> don't give me Sword Art Online season two type shit, right? Unless we talking about Orimo, because Orimo is pretty lit, man. <laughs> Oh, fucking Oreo. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about anime. We'll do that in the next part. Why? Did, why did I say it like that? We'll do that in the next part, guys. Anyways, um, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Yada yada. This that second and third. You hear it a million times in the description below. First of all, uh, look up, look up, uh, Sinjo, Sinjo, Sinju. How do I pronounce that? Sinjo, Sinjo. I think it's Sinjo. Um, look him up. If you ever need some artwork done by him, hit him up. See if he can do something for you. See if he has slots open for you. Keep an eye on his work. It's pretty great. And that's going to be in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. That will be in the description as well. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I'm a chef, chef too.